star scorecard, cheat code 5.3L. We're still dealing with divide whole numbers by unit fractions and divide unit fractions by whole numbers. So we're still dealing with how do you divide fractions? You got to do the dance, right? Even at your desk, even at your YouTube computer, you know? Multiply and flip. Multiply and flip. This is the multiplication sign, X. I'm a killer dancer. I know. <laughs> got to know your vocab. Quotient's the answer to a division problem. Dividend divided by divisor equals quotient. Okay. There's five questions. Five questions in this video. Might be just a little bit longer than normal. Malia had 15 pounds of bird seed. She fed her birds one fifth of bird seed, one fifth pound, fifth pound every day. She had 15 pounds of bird seed. She fed her birds one fifth of a pound every day until the bird seed was gone. For how many days did Malia feed the bird seed to her birds? Whoa. So look, 15 over one, because there's 15 pounds. And we want to divide it by one fifth. Now, what is, is funny is like you want to multiply because you're like, oh, 15 times one. No, no, no. You have to divide it because there's 15 pounds and you're dividing each day has one fifth. So we multiply and flip. 15 over one times multiply and flip. Five over one equals. Uh, 15 times, 5 times 5 is 25, carry the 2, 5 times 1 is 5 plus 2 is 7, 75 over 1, whoa, how many days does she last? 75 days, 15 pounds of bird seed will last you a pretty good amount of time, that's like two and a half months, okay. Cyril put a total of one eighth pound of gravel into six fish tanks. He put the same amount of gravel, look, same amount, division, same amount, into each tank. That's division. That's your vocab to mark division. How many pounds of gravel did Cyril put into each fish tank? One eighth divided by, because of division, six over one equals one eighth multiplied by 1 over 6 equals 1 over 48. That simple. 1 48th pound into each fifth tank, fish tank. Multiply and flip. Multiply and flip. Make sure you're using the context clue of the question to help you. Amy cut 32 feet of chain into pieces that were one quarter foot long. How many of these pieces did Amy have after cutting the chain? 32 over one divided by one over four equals 32 over one times four over one, right? Um, each, how many of these pieces, right? So that, that helps you, each is division. 32 times 4, well, 4 times 2 is 8, equals 8, and then 4 times 3 is 12, 128 over 1. Whoa. So she had 128 pieces, and with this question, you have to bubble it in. You don't have multiple choice. All right. Monique had a piece of fabric that is one-third yard long. Okay, one third of a yard is one foot, uh, because a yard is three feet. She wants to divide it evenly among four friends. What fraction of a yard of fabric should each friend receive? One third divided by four, right? Divided by four, oh, okay, over one equals one third times one fourth equals one over 12. Each friend should receive one twelfth of a yard. Last question. And our time, this is a normal, normal length video. We're just flying. The music teacher taught 19, taught for 19 school years. Each one third of a school year, she taught a different group of students. How many different groups of kids did she teach during these 19 years? Whew. This is tough because, again, you want to 
you want to think that this is multiplication. 19 times one third, you know, but it's not. Because you're you're multiplying. you 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 the number needs to get bigger. And it's as weird as it sounds, division of fractions, you multiply, you flip. So when you divide fractions, that number does get bigger. 19 over 1 divided by 1 over 3 equals what? So now we need to multiply and flip. 19 over 1 times 3 over 1 equals, 9 times 3 is 27. 3 times 1 is 1 plus 2 is 5. 57 over 1. 57. How many different groups of students? She taught 57 groups. Okay, another way to think about that. Each school year, she taught 19 school years, she had three groups. So how many groups total? Mm, look, she had three different groups because one third of the year she got a new group. That's it's I know it's this type of question is just is confusing because they're the words they're using. You guys know how to do it. You're gonna be great. So have a great day. Hope you're enjoying the videos and we'll see you next time.